and the bird is ready to leave the cage and enjoy life atop her bedroom. Mabuhay squad. So RJ just bought another thing. <laughs> um, it just came, well, to the lobby. And it's so random, the things RJ buys. Mabuhay squad, you gotta check this out. Look at what RJ bought. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. This interesting foot spa, which he's already used. <laughs> Look guys, it's not even in English. But RJ ordered this because he was concerned that his feet were becoming like a troll's feet. They were like getting hard and callous and bunions and stuff because of, because of the laundry that he's been doing and all the work um, around the house. So look, it's got massagers, rollers, bubblers, all of that. You can control temperature and all of this. I love that it rolls. I'm gonna use it later. But such a weird and interesting buy. <laughs> OMG, and it even has a remote control. <gasps> I want to see how this works. Maybe we'll ask RJ to let us know the next time he uses it. So <laughs> we can see how it works. Good morning. Morning, the guys. Did you sleep well? You're so cute. <laughs> Good morning, Mabuhai squad. It's a beautiful Sunday. Yes, I'm off today. Not gonna do any work. Just gonna enjoy my pets. Do some pet maintenance. I don't have to worry about a YouTube video other than this one, but, but it's all good. And I feel like enjoying this day. How is your day going, guys? Now, speaking of today being such a great day, it's actually a very special day. It's my brother Joseph's birthday today. So guys, leave a comment for my brother. If you've been following the vlogs, you've met Joseph, my younger brother who lives in Canada. He's an actor, very talented, extremely smart, and he turns 37 today. Yay, OMG. We're both getting older. But if you guys are on Twitch, follow him on Boomster Joe. Yes. He's a total gamer, like one of the coolest people I know. Gorgeous day out there. Wow. So nice. Okay guys, positive affirmation for Sunday, May the 24th. Forgiving makes me feel free and light. I forgive everyone. Ooh, I love this one. Forgiving guys, it's all part of life. All right guys, so have a look at an update on my tank. It's looking beautiful. I just did maintenance on it yesterday. Trimmed some of the kabomba and then replanted it. Trimmed some of the red stem plants here and planted it towards the back. Cleaned any algae I'm looking and I don't spot any blue-green algae anymore. I think we're winning this battle, guys. Seriously, plants are thriving. See, look at my Anubias. Remember how they were damaged on the corners because of deficiencies? Now they're healing. It's just like really awesome. So happy, look at the Monte Carlo starting to establish now. A lot of them are now properly rooted. There are certain spots where the leaves, they're at a point of no return. They were dying like before I really started dosing the ferts. But now they're coming around. Look at that big huge leaf of the Amazon sword. That's doing super well now. It's just awesome. I think we're winning this battle against algae guys. It's taken a while. There's our snail. Aw, he's so cute. 
the unicorn of the tank, I call him. I can't get over those mosses, wow. So some of you have been asking about Ligaya's chest um, because as you know, she had a procedure done, an endoscopy, and they like shaved the feathers off the chest area. Well, um, feathers, it's, it's filling in. Feathers are growing in. It's more obvious when she's ruffling her feathers. I see both down feathers and the big feathers growing in to fill that bulb spot. And uh, the stitches are fully healed now, which is great. She's actually getting extra nutritious food now because she's molting. And a lot of you guys out there with parrots and African greys, particularly those of you here in the Philippines with African greys, you guys are also going through the molting season, which is cool. Love it that we're going through that together. All right, guys, pet maintenance day, of course, which means a lot of water changes. Mm -hmm. oh. How about you guys? Any of you guys have a specific pet maintenance day? It can be a lot of work, depending on what you have. And like some Aquarists, for example, spend like two hours on maintenance, like twice a week. But of course, it's labor of love, right guys? Now, as you guys know, we have a helper, Ate Elsie, who I actually, uh, we all miss. I'm sure Ligaya misses her too. She would help me with all of this pet maintenance so that I wasn't doing just pet maintenance all the time. I could focus on other things, you know, like focus on my the work required for my other businesses and video editing for the various channels, all of that. But since lockdown, I've had to do everything myself, which is okay, but I mean, it's really a morning to night, seven days a week thing, like no rest. <laughs> I consider pet maintenance my rest day, but you know, it's still work, even if it's enjoyable work. I think about when Ate Elsie comes back, or whenever this building opens up, and whenever the city opens up again fully, um, I'm gonna have to retrain her because certain like routines have changed now, especially for this tank. Like there's like a 25 step process that I've had to put down on my phone for when Ate Elsie starts helping me again. I've written down all the steps so that I don't forget, you know what I mean? Unplug this, scrape algae off this, add this solution. And clearly Ligaya is agreeing with me. I also think about how fun it'll be to train our future staff when we move to the farm um, because we definitely will be needing more help. We'll live in a house, we'll have various animals, so I'm gonna need to train them to uh, help me with maintenance. I'm gonna get some tap water and dechlorinate it. Yes, before the water changes. Now, speaking of, you know, having help to take care of pets, you know, sometimes there are people who come from the philosophy that, oh, you're the owner, you should do all the work. Like, you know, don't get a pet if you're not able to do the stuff yourself. It should be you doing every single little bit of maintenance. Don't hire other people. I feel sorry for other people. And I've addressed this in a previous vlog. I don't agree with that at all. First of all, Ate Elsie, she is very well compensated. She's like my family now. She enjoys her job. She loves animals. And it's a team effort like raising these animals. And the thing too is, I think people are maybe thinking that, you know, all animals are like children, like human children, where as a parent, you need to be there every step of the way. You should be the one changing diapers. You should be the one bringing your daughter to recital, all of this, right? But no, like, do you think Legaya cares if it's me or if it's Ate Elsie or RJ chopping up vegetables for her breakfast? No, <laughs> you know what I mean? My snake doesn't care if it's me cleaning up his poo or if it's Ate Elsie. You know, there are certain things that can be handled by a team if you're able to have one, you know what I mean? The way I foresee it, you know, it's like a farmer. A farmer has his own team or even a zookeeper. You can't expect the zoo owner to like do all the maintenance no, he hires staff. It doesn't mean he doesn't love the animals, and it doesn't mean the animals aren't living a quality life, right? There are some YouTubers though who have like a ton of animals and they don't have help. To me, that's more of a concern because like, are they just doing pet maintenance like 24 hours, seven days a week? Like, do they ever have a break? Like, how sustainable is that? Or are they cutting corners? Maybe they're not doing all the maintenance that they should because I mean, even if you're an animal, lover in my experience you just can't live life doing animal maintenance and duties like throughout the day you guys agree i don't know 
This is just where I'm coming from. And another thing too is like keeping a lot of animals is not cheap. So I look at some of these people and I'm like, okay, how do they have all of these animals? And like, it's none of my business, but I wonder like if their income is enough to sustain all the expenses, vet bills, like food, all of that. I don't know, that's what I, th I think. I never like message on their channels or anything. And hey, I also don't judge because maybe, I don't know, maybe they're like, they are like loaded. <laughs> they have a lot of money they can handle. Or maybe they're just, that's really their passion and they're willing to spend every single waking hour and minute on their animals. That's also quite the possibility too. Um, but yeah, these are the things I think about. Like people who have a lot of animals and don't have that extra help, you know, to keep up with the duties. Of course, as they say, a good boss though is willing to do all jobs. You don't delegate a job that you're not willing to do yourself. And that's so true. Like when I first get a pet, I'm there every step of the way doing all jobs just so I can understand what the maintenance regime will be like. And then that's when I'm like, okay, I think this task can be delegated to a DLC or you know what I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I can I can help pick and choose what chores, pet chores and duties need to be done by me and which can be done by ATLC or RJ or whoever is helping us. So guys, I wanted to show you my frog's mossarium. I used a little bit of leaf zone, the fertilizer I bought for my fish tank, and I put some in the water here. And look at the plant, like literally in just two days, this just filled up and it's like blooming new stems. See that? Crazy. Over there. It's amazing. Um, the mosses look really healthy. So I think I'm gonna start using that leaf zone also for my like paludariums because it's clearly working. Look at all of that moss. There are three species of moss in there and then Monte Carlo carpeting. That leaf zone stuff is just crazy. It's awesome. By the way, if you're wondering about the fertilizer, it's this stuff by API Leaf Zone. It contains iron and potassium for lush colorful leaves. Um, it was recommended to me by the fish store lady. I keep calling her fish store lady. Her name is Francia. Thank you Francia for recommending this. Um, and it's clearly working on the plants. It's just awesome. Guys, I'm having ice cream cravings. Look, vanilla. Mm, I've been into it already. <laughs> and this is like the legit vanilla. Like if you look at it, you'll know vanilla's legit when it's got the little black dots. Whoops. Because apparently I guess it's from a flower. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yes. Mmm. I don't know about y'all, but I love various flavors of ice cream, but vanilla is just consistently good. What's your favorite flavor? Right now, Manila is super hot. It's like the hottest time of the year. So this ice cream's hitting the spot. Wow, 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 right the guys? Got a little coffee. Mm. Coffee and ice cream. So good. Yay! Mobile High Spot, I just heard the most awesome news. Something is being delivered here, and OMG. Gonna yeah. love this, and I'm gonna love vlogging it too. Mobile High Spot. What's coming here today is 